Okay, there's our new ultrasonic cleaner. Was my workbench there for a few days. So this is a Pro Ultrasonics. This is not the other guy that ripped them off, the ultrasonic guy. This is the real deal. So this is a ultrasonic cleaner. So it's got a nice lid on there. So you put a bunch of liquid in there and you go zap the piss out of it and you make a nice little cleaning thing out of it. So you can get this thing all undone. Got a nice bracket handles here, they go in there. Don't scratch up your surface. What's up? Can you grab that up for me? Nice basket. This doesn't have any scratches in it. What is this thing? A rocket ship? It's a rocket ship. It's a, it's a bathtub. I, I need the bathtub to take a bath in. For my dogs? No, it's for me. It's perfect size. No, it's for not them. for the dog, it's for me. It's already got dirt in it. Look at this. Go so, right, every one of these little buttons right here, turn that light off. Every one of these little buttons here is a little pulse generator that makes this thing go like that and pulses everything. It makes the water go everywhere. All right, it came in that big crate there, too. So this was our SEMA show purchase. Come to Vegas, you buy parts. What are you eating on over there? Are you trying to eat that? Oh, that's what you guys are eating. There's a bone over there. Uh oh, it's coming out. There it is. It's got it. I wonder what they want about this bone over there. You let Tetra come over to the house for a few days? What'd you do? Starts chewing on the end of your vacuum. I was hungry. Be careful. This is an experimental size, not on the website yet, and it's just perfect for Harleys. Perfect. You can put a Harley case in here, you can put a Sportster case in here, and it's just long enough to do that, and the other one they had was not long enough. So this is the case we did over at the show, so 48 to 52 panted left case, that'd be a Harley if you didn't know that. That sucker right in here like that, like it's made for it. Now it's very important that you do not lay stuff right on the deck because then it's going to pulse correctly. See, it does that to the case, which is not what you want to do. So you make sure you got to put it in the basket. You want to be a half inch to an inch in the air when you do that. Now this was really nasty looking. It does not cut corrosion, but it cuts off dirt really nice. And it really opens up the cracks right here. You can see the cracks. And if you don't lay stuff on your nice stainless steel top, it will not make it scratched up. Obviously, we don't care about that around here. All right. So this is just 110 powered. You put water in here. That's all you do. The valve opens up like that and just goes gush everywhere. Turn my lights off. Oh, I turned it off. So this is the dump valve. Boom! Liquid comes right out. This hole right here. So they make a filter system, and if you have a filter system, it comes out of here, goes through the filter system, pumps back in through here, and it comes out right here. Now there's a level uh, indicator in here somewhere that tells what the level is. You want to be about this far from the top. It's supposed to hold uh, 10 or 12 gallons, I forget. You put one gallon of super goo in there. What are you doing over there? Are you, are you looking for something? What's over here you're looking for? I went the dogs out here last night. Oh, you want up there? Oh, I know you can jump that high if you wanted to. There you go. You happy now? Oh, whoa, let's go down on that side. Oh, there's another toy. Oh, look out. The varmint's gonna get gonna bite me again. He likes biting me. You like biting me. You like to bite me. Yeah, what's this? Oh, that's what I found. Yeah, that's over there now. He won't leave me alone. What are you doing over here? Yeah, that's not a very good chair. What, you back again? What are you back again for? I'm supposed to be working. All right, we're going to get some uh, liquid in here. There's some soap around here that we picked up with it. Yeah, yeah watch that claw. You cut my thumb open. Oh, there it is. Okay, you guys have to move out of the way. Oh, there's my soap. So, 
name on the box. This is a private label. No name. There's no name brands. It's a concentrated mix. I found the soap. <clears throat> this is pro supersonic soap. Dangerous hazards. Do not drink. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. Well, there's the phone number to go to if you want some help. Don't you do it. That's grease. The grease. I don't want to clean the grease out with that. Okay, so you got a gallon container we can count this out, or are we just going to pour it in until we like it? <clears throat> How many gallons is this? This looks like two and a half. Two and a half. This should be two and a half, right? I don't know. I said five gallons, there's two of them, so I'm guessing that's two and a half. Oh, you're two and a half gallons. So we're going to put a whole gallon with the math. Let's go like that. You said one, right? One, one. one gallon. Two and a half here. Alright, where is measure? There's a little cord I had over there. There's gonna be soap in here. Let's get it in there. Where's your marker at, boy? Where's your felt tip? I'm gonna mark this. We got a big ball, we're gonna divide it in threes. So we got three attempts at making them what we need. Why don't we just pour it? They don't have it in the What's wrong with that gallon right there? I don't have that. I got this right here, though. There's a gallon jug right there. Look how accurate this is. This is really accurate how I'm doing this. You like this that? No, probably not as accurate as you need to be. Right. That was a little weird. I think I missed that one a little bit. You're only shooting for this one, anyways. It doesn't matter. That one's a little bit too low. I'm thinking right here. Right here. It's marked over the same way again. <laughs> now he moves up a quarter inch. You see a one, two, three. That looks about equal. Beautiful. Precision measurement right to the CC exact. Don't use a paper towel in there. Now, this is a general purpose cleaning fluid. Is the valve closed or is it going to go right out the end of there? About to close. It's not draining that. Pretty close to the line right there. Put our seal cap back on there. Alright, need to get some. Oh, we weren't supposed to put this in right away. We did this wrong. We did this wrong. We we're supposed to get the water up and then put the soap in it, remember? I don't think so. I think you said that's what he said together. Did. No, 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 you're supposed to heat it up, then put the so. water in. I don't think so. I think that's what he said. I'm pretty sure. I think so. I think he said put it all in, then turn it on and let it do its thing for about 15 minutes. Okay. Well, if it's wrong, it's he your fault. Together. We got a valve, we can dump it back in if we have to. Well, do it. We see how we read the instruction we don't have. We're just going to go for it. <clears throat> So we're going to have to put water in here, <clears throat> then you have to run the ultrasonic cleaner for a few minutes to let it vibrate the water and get rid of all the foaming. When you first turn on it should foam, and after you're done it shouldn't foam anymore. And I think that's why we got foamy stuff in there, because we have foamy, foamy liquid in there. Okay, how much are we going to put in here? You said to be like basically About two inches here. from the top. Yeah, inch and a half, two inches from the top. Something like that. So when I say stop, uh, turn it down. <laughs> now if you spray this in a corner, it won't kick back so much in your face when it comes on. See? So you do that. So I knew you were going to turn that thing on hard. How many gallons of that? Just a 10 gallon, right? Oh, uh, it's 10 to 12. Don't know. We'll find out when we dump it out. 
got to open it now, see, it's got soap. It's got bubbles going on. Put the thing on. underneath it so it doesn't make all these bubbles. Is that what it is? Yeah, but I can't see what the, I don't want to contaminate this clean fluid with dirty hoses. I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's not going to be a problem? All the soap's over there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Look how I do that where it doesn't make a mess. Pretty good, huh? So we gotta be above that hole. That's right. Okay, that's about two and a half inches now. Okay, that's good. You were doing good until you turned it back on. You were doing good until you turned it back on. I wouldn't drink that. What's wrong with that? Well, th this is not a level platform here. So this is lower on this side than this side. Can't you tell? It's beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautification time. Is it power on? No. No. I mean, it's plugged in, but you got to turn it on. Plugged in. Okay, there's a rocker switch back here we're supposed to use. Secret switch. Right there. Ooh. Got a fan and everything on it. Oh, I'm gonna go and figure out our heat. Remember how to use this thing? 150, yeah. Where's the heat at? So on, temperature set. Right down here. Temperature set. Oh, okay. Has to turn itself on for a second. It's thinking, it's turning it on. Get all these gauges here, get confused. Oh, this is output and this is timer. And this is temp. What's this one do? It's the on and off button. Oh, it's on and off? Okay, so you got on off, temp, output, and timer. And output you got high, low, and then a, a medium, and then you got a stagger where it goes, sweeps up the top, bottom, top, bottom. It covers everything. I think we overloaded it. Maybe we're supposed to go up. It's not taking any inputs right now. It doesn't like me right now. It didn't like that water we put in there. See? You did it wrong. Nevada water. Maybe you're supposed to hit that button that says on off. I thought you did. I turned the rocker switch on. Do you, do you like to see it like Fahrenheit? American. Or? There we go, 140, 50. Whoa, Oops, not that much. No, he said 150 is 60. 155. Can't get How 155. We can't do 155. We can do it only as even. Yeah, up or above by one degree. If, if you're odd, you cannot use this tool. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, well, we are in if trouble. If you cannot use this tool. <laughs> we are in really big trouble. We are in lots of trouble. All right, now we wait. It's 59 degrees in here, it says. It's like a bubble bath. Your clock, your your thing was wrong. It says 60 over there on the wall. Over here it's 59. Well, the water was in the ground, okay. Well, the ground is cold? I thought the ground was warm. No, not around here. Not around here? Okay. No. Okay, now we got to wait for a little while for the uh, heat to generate some heat. He said it takes about an hour. About an hour? Yep. So I'm not gonna videotape the hole every degree. <laughs> I got comments about that. Okay. Don't do really long videos that are stupid. Only ones that are just long. You mean like FXR wiring videos? Yes, like those. <laughs> okay, we're going to wait for this thing to go. I don't know why it hasn't moved yet. you think it would have gone up a little bit by now. You just turned it on like 30 seconds ago. It's, it's 59 degrees. You think a it jet blower on this thing? You think it would have warmed up already. I don't know what's up with that. All right, we're going to go see eat some BLTs. I think while. it's broken. I think I broke it already. Okay, we'll be back in about uh, whenever, and we'll let you know if it works or not. Hopefully it does. All right, we'll be back.